Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a little page in the Intricate Ink Animals in Detail Volume 5 by Tim Jeffs. We're going to do this page here. Number 3 is a brown trout. We're going to do it in Distress Inks just like I've been doing all the other pages in here. So we are doing ink. So we've got out, of course he's a brown trout. Keep that in mind. <laughs> so brown colors. So like his top is going to be the darkest color and we got out walnut stain for that. And then it kind of comes down to a little bit lighter browns. So I have a brushed corduroy and little gathered twigs, both being a nice color of browns. His belly down here gets into kind of a yellow olive green color. So I put a little wild honey to put some kind of honey colors in there. And then I have scattered straw, which will be a little more of the yellow. So the um, browns go together. Yellow is going to go with the greens. Scattered straw, peeled paint forest moss, which are just going to be detailed lines, deep color. Okay, so we're going to start from the tip top and work our way down. So we're going to put those colors on the side. First color in is going to be walnut stain. Probably should get a different topper for that. Just because it's a really dark brown and we'll want to get it a really dark brown up there. So this pad. I'm only leaking up a little portion of this pad. Just that tip top. I've got it angled on the thing and I'm rubbing it. I'm going to use that as my line that goes across here on the fish. So he's kind of tilted here. So our coloration is going to go across the back this way. And down to his nose. Okay, turn the little brush around here and kind of go down in this area. Now his fins are kind of a greenish brown color, so I'm going to leave the fin alone. We are going to make sure we get a lot of that color in. He's got a little bit of a darker snout, so we'll pounce some of that into the snout. And his jawline down here is a little darker. Right across there. Just need to get it on there a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so far, a little bit of brown. I'm going to put a little bit about the eye here with that color too. Alright, next color. We'll go in with the um, gathered twigs. I can use the same brush. I'm just going to turn it and use the other side here. Then I'm going to bring some of this color down a little further. It's a lighter brown. And bring it down. Go through a little bit of that up there. Okay. Come down here around the mouth area with that color too. Okay, that should be enough. Bring in a little brushed corduroy. I'm going to change the brush here. Put a little on that tip kind of in where we want to have some darker spots and just pull some of that down in here.
around his eye there. A little more around the mouth. Okay. Pretty color. I like that one. I'm going to go in with a little wild honey, which is going to give us a well, honey color. Turn it and put that ink on that side. Add a little bit of that in here. You want to remember that the Distress ink will go down a little brighter than it does dry. It'll dry lighter. Pull some of that in under here. Add a little on the tail. And maybe put a little bit of that in the fins. Okay, throw a little bit of that up here too, just to brighten some of that up. And we'll put a little around his eye. Okay, now we've got our greens and our other yellow. So our yellow will bring down or bring up whatever you want to do it. <laughs> that tone right up in here all right now we're going to change green one. That had a greenish one. Do, do, do. Just looking around. Need to get an ink pad. That's green enough. Pull a blue one off. Hmm. Interesting. Get ink all over me. We're going to start off with the peeled paint. And we're going to put some of that color in our fins. All fins. So up here at the top too. We're also going to add a little bit of this green coming up here. He is a fish. He's going to have some green on him. There we go. I'm going to bring in some of the uh, forest moss. This is going to be a darker color. And I'm just going to put it in the shadows here. Bring some of that up around his gills. A bit of that around his mouth. Of course, up by his eye. A tiny bit by his nose. And there. Oh, gotta get that little fin. Okay, I have a little um, what are they called? Mini detail tool. And I'm just going to use that to add in some of the darkness in just some spots that I can't get to with the big tool.
He's got different color um, spots, so we're going to throw some green up into that area, just on the dot area, dots. That one away. We'll get some of the light green and put some of those up in the dots. some of the browns. Start off with the honey. Just kind of spot them around. Okay. The brushed corduroy. Gathered twigs. Okay, then the walnut stain. Doo -doo. It's going to be our darkest spots. Okay, then we're going to get our tool in here and just kind of rub a little of that color on all of that. Throw a few of those dark ones over here. Somewhere around here is a little bit of a bluish dot on this guy's face. So I'm going to bring in some faded jeans and just, it's right around his eye, we'll just kind of throw a little of that blue right in there. We're also going to throw a little bit up here. Represent the water shine if he's down in the water. And 
And I'll throw in some spots in here too. Kind of like that blue in there. I'm going to throw a little in here. going to take a little bit of oh, white. I have a um, Derwent Drawing Chinese white here on my desk. And we're going to whiten up this area here. adding a highlight in his fins. Okay, just add in your highlights wherever you want. I think I want that line a little darker. So I'm just going to take the ink that's left on this brown one and just add in some ink there. Okay, I'm going to go around, highlight some of these spots. Just gonna run this around some of these down here too. Okay, his mouth. This area is a little whiter, so we're going to add that back in. Inside his mouth here. He's got this like little tooth that pops up. We want to see that. about here of his eyes a little lighter so we're going to lighten that up okay thin again up here if you get anything too light you can always go back over it with the ink ink will cover that up and you can go back in and highlight.
is really white. So I'm gonna push hard and get that white. Sorry about the watch. <laughs> Give him a little shine up there. He is shiny after all. He's a fish. So we'll um, put a little shine up here too, I think. Okay, they're looking pretty good. I don't want to lighten them too much because I put all that work in there. Let's see. I'm going to bring in whatever color this is. A dark cadmium yellow. And we're going to throw a little of that and down in here. bit in his mouth over here. And if you want, you can throw some of this up here in these little spots, too. Okay, then I'm going to bring in... Hmm, why not? Chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate sounds good for a brown trout. Let's see what that does. Just go over these lines here. And there can some of those up. I'm going to erase this little tiny bit that I went overboard on. There we go, and then we're going to touch it up with a little bit of this chocolate. And we're also going to add some of these in up here, darker brown, just wherever you think it needs it. This page is a little wet from all the ink, but we can color in there. And also add shadows on some of these and just color half of them. And you can color some of them that are up in here. Just make little circles. They're there, you can barely see them, but they're up there. Throw 
throw a little of that in there for shadow too. What else we got out here on my desk? <laughs> what are we? The green gold. So we'll add a little bit of that in there. This is a polychromo. The other ones were drawing pencils from Derwent. Go over some of those spots. He really does have a lot of different color spots on him. I have a picture up. <laughs> Gonna throw some of that down in here too. I am thinking he is done. Let's kind of soften those white lines just a bit. We are going to color his eye a little darker black. So I'm bringing in the poly black. Then we'll stick a little bit of Pasca in it. Hopefully this one will work. <laughs> Never know at my desk. So we'll give him a little light there and a little light there. And I am going to call him Dan. I think he turned out really well. What I'm going to do is leave a picture at the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Take care everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.